Welcome everybody into this, the latest edition of ESPN FC. Alongside Alejandro Moreno, Steve Nickel, I am Sebastian Salazar. On a day where not one, but two English teams punched mm. their ticket into the last four of the Champions League. Manchester City and Liverpool boys are into the semifinals. Let's start at the Wanda Metropolitano where Manchester City took a 1-0 lead from the first leg into the second leg. This game uh, played out to a scoreless draw. Just the one shot on goal in this for Manchester City. Only three shots on goal for Atletico Madrid. And in the end, Manchester City advance to the semifinals. Atleti finishing the match with 10 men. Felipe sent off in stoppage time in the first half. Craig Burley and Gemma Soler to join us in just a second. But gentlemen, we'll start here in studio. Ale, a very different game from the first leg. A very different Atleti from the first leg. Yeah. Honestly, for, for those of us that had the pleasure, quote-unquote, of watching Atletico Madrid last week, you sort of have to ask the question, where was the performance that you showcased today, where at times you took the ball away from Manchester City, where you were willing to pressure higher up the field? Now, it doesn't mean that they were creating a bunch of chances. It doesn't mean that they were dominant. They were at times still conservative, but with a willingness to actually go on the attack and be a threat to Manchester City, which then pushed Manchester City back and, and forced Manchester City into areas they did not want to be. Now, what we saw at the end of the game from Atletico Madrid, that people are uh, talking about reprehensible behavior, disgraceful, and all of these things, I'm actually surprised that it took that long for Atletico Madrid to take the game to that sort of level, to the street fight. I thought this was going to happen much earlier, which, uh, which, by the way, actually took Manchester City off their game. Now they were fighting, and when it comes down to a fight, Atletico Madrid is going to win that. I thought Atletico Madrid would be doing that early in the game so that Manchester City would stop playing, and maybe through that frustration, Atletico Madrid would take advantage of that and eventually perhaps create enough opportunities for them to get back in the game. In the end, they just don't do enough offensively. Stevie, you called Atleti's approach in the first leg a joke. Yep. What about today? Well, it couldn't, be, it couldn't have gotten any worse from the first leg, so they were always going to be better, and they're at home, and they've got a crowd behind them, and they're 1-0 down. So, you know, they really didn't have an awful lot of choice. Um, and I guess the one thing we could say, it wasn't until the last 15 minutes where it really looked as though they, they had something. They looked as though they had, they had the, the, the teeth nearly on the bone. Mm. But it took, them, it took them nearly two games to do that. And even, and even at the end... When Ali's talking about, well, eventually they started making out a fight, mm. you're, in, you're, in, you're at the end of the game and you can't afford to give stupid fouls away and delay the game. And that's what they did. So it's one thing to say, yes, they were, they were behaving the way they did, but it didn't do them any favours because they didn't have time. Had they done this 20 minutes previously or 30 minutes previously, maybe they would have got something from it. Certainly wouldn't have helped them, Felipe, getting sent off. But maybe with the crowd and everything else, they might have fought their way to try and get a goal and get extra time. So, for me, they went about the whole thing the wrong way. Mm. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I was watching <laughs> the Pied Piper at the end of the game. They've just got knocked out. Yeah. The Champions League, 1-0. They've had maybe two chances maximum in two games. But yet the stadium, to a man and woman and child, are on their feet with their scarves in the air, <laughs> singing and clapping Simeone <laughs> like he's some sort of messiah. Geez a break. Uh, Craig, to Stevie's point, um, you know, what do we make of Simeone here? This is, this is a guy who obviously we criticized a lot after the first leg, but isn't this exactly what he wanted, uh, to keep it 0-0, to have that chance late? And Atleti had. They had a moment late in the game where they very easily could have tied the, tied the series. Well, I think he wanted to win the game, which he didn't do. Uh, and as Ali said, I was expecting them to start off the game the way they finished it at the Etihad, which was all the dirty tricks. To Stevie's point, and he's right, Simeone has this crowd believing that, that they are wronged, that the officials are against them, that everybody's against them, that La Liga's against them, that UEFA's against them, that everything's against them. And that's why they're applauding him, they're following him. He's sarcastically clapping the officials, he'll say he wasn't, as if they were wrong to send Felipe off. When, quite frankly, today and other days, he was a thug. Here we have Atletico Madrid, who had four halves of football, two 90 minutes, 
and only turned up for 25 per cent of that, one half. And by the way, when they do turn up, they've got really good players. They've got real quality in that team. But it's such a negative approach, and I don't say this very often. And it's not because it was against an English team. It could have been Villarreal. It could have been Benfica. I'm absolutely delighted that they are out. Mm. Because, quite frankly, amongst other things, he has assembled an expensively bunch of thugs, right? Mm. Now, that maybe, maybe is their mantra. But I'm sorry, it reminds me at times of the Spanish teams of the 70s and the 80s when it was lawless. And I thought we were bringing out laws of the game to try and, to try and help some of these players. And look, I'm not saying City are a bunch of angels here, not at all. But when you see the Felipe challenge on Foden in the first half that goes on challenge, you see Savage who'd lost the plot even from the first 45 minutes. And then you see the follow through from Felipe on, this, on the second yellow when there's absolutely no need. They're a mirror image of their manager, I'm afraid. And for what they've spent, I think they should be better than that. So I, for one, I'm absolutely delighted they're going no further in this competition. Gemma, you were there. I wonder about your perspective. One, on what the guys are talking about, right? The fact that this team has eliminated Atleti and yet the fans are still applauding Simeone. And then beyond that, it seemed like something happened in the tunnel afterwards. What'd you see? Oh, yes, uh, I was there in the tunnel. Well, it, it's a club that it's, uh, it's uh, particular. They were very depressed. And then this uh, coach who was a hero as a player comes and puts them back uh, being on the top spot in Spain and also uh, getting to two uh, Champions League finals. So uh, that gives Simeone a lot of credit. And this is a team uh, uh, made of this, what I have in my back, uh, Coraje y Corazón. It's hard and uh, uh, soul, courage. So, so this uh, public, this uh, fan base are for that. And, and their players, they fight a lot today. Even they did it with the first 45. I'm, I'm totally agree with the analysis of Craig was saying. Uh, first 45 were the same as we saw in the Etihad. They did nothing. Cholos plan was, uh, let's make these uh, players tired because they come from a 2-2 draw against Liverpool. They are going to be exhausting just two players who are not in that game, uh, Gundogan and Mares. Uh, and it worked it out because in the second half, Atletico, uh, when he does the three uh, changes, when uh, Correa, uh, when uh, Correa de Paul and Carrasco go to the field, they, they even got more bold, more possession than uh, Manchester City. And they, um, Smart City were uh, extremely uncomfortable because they were not having the ball and they suffer a lot. Guardiola actually, he, he, he said that they suffer and, and it was a tough uh, moment, but, but they were able to resist. So that's why the fan base stays there and clubs their players. Uh, they, were, they are the defending champions in, in Spain, in La Liga. So that's something huge for this club. And I know... Uh, this is the most talented and most expensive uh, uh, start or, or, or squad that Simone has ever had. But he tried to play something a little bit better at the beginning of the season, and it didn't really work it well for him, probably because he doesn't believe in that system of uh, football with more attack. So he decided to go back to, he, to what he believes, and, and what he believes is trying to do what he did in the Etihad. It almost worked for him because City just had two shots and he did the same here and it almost got uh, for him. Uh, but eventually, I think the best team in the quarterfinals go through. And uh, so that team is uh, Man City, of course. Gemma says it there, uh, Manchester City suffer, but they advance. Mm -hmm. Just one shot on goal in this match for Manchester City. They certainly left the door open for Atleti. They did. And from a Manchester City perspective, the, the thing that you should be concerned about is the things that you do really well include possession with a purpose and possession in the attacking half and the movement and rotation of the ball and movement and rotation of players. And that stopped in the second half from Manchester City. It is very surprising to see a Manchester City team that is unable to keep possession of the ball. And that indeed it was Atletico Madrid that were as limited as they may be whenever they commit those numbers forward. They were the ones with the possession. They were the ones with momentum, the crowd behind the group. And Manchester City, the only way that they could stop that from happening was actually regaining possession and keeping the ball themselves. And they were unable to do that with any sort of consistency and continuity. Now, again, I go back to the initial point that it doesn't mean that Atletico Madrid were 
because of this pressure, they were always dangerous. That wasn't quite the case. But it is surprising to see Manchester City in a moment in which they're being challenged physically, in which they're being challenged with possession of the ball like Atletico Madrid was, that Manchester City were unable to then control the game, take it to the attacking half, take the pressure off the game, relieve some pressure because of the quality of players that you have and the quality of possession that you have. They weren't able to do that, and Atletico Madrid grew into the match and eventually became chaos at the end. What was City missing today? I think there's no question that they were missing some legs in the second half. Uh, and when you're tired, it affects your touch and it affects what goes on between your ears. Uh, and so when you're playing against a side like Atleti, who are motivated physically to get in and, in and around you, then it makes it easier for them. And I think, I think the way that, that Atleti finished playing the game, they were just banging balls forward. This reminded me of the old, uh, the old uh, Republic of Ireland with Jack Charlton, who just put the ball in dangerous areas and made the opposition work hard. City didn't seem to have that in their legs. Mm. They, they kind of got caught between still trying to close when they didn't have the legs, and so there was huge big holes, so when the ball was bashed forward, then the second balls are getting won by Atletico Madrid. So I think there's no question that fatigue played a part in the second half, but at the end of the day, they still deserve to go through. Yeah. Because for all, the, for all the, the crowd roaring and the fighting and the scratching and the you-know-what, they didn't deserve it. They, never, they created one chance, one clear chance, with almost the last kick of the ball. Other than that, nothing. The, Craig, to Stevie's the, point, are we, go ahead. The, the irony of the Atleti players and coaches complaining about uh, feigning injury and, and all this sort <laughs> of stuff was, was, yeah, was, quite, was, quite, was quite scary, really, when, when they're probably one of the worst of it. Uh, look, I think Atleti missed a trick here, or, or a big chance, a real big chance of an upset. Because there's no doubt City were leggy, but there's also no doubt there's a lot of underperformers, and not all of them played uh, most of the game against Liverpool. I'll give you Riyad Mahrez, for example, who only played, I, I think, 10, 15 minutes at the end of that game, but was a, I thought he was awful today. I think a big part of the problem was, you know, he and others were just doing exactly what City don't normally do, that was taking too many touches on the ball and that allowed the Atleti midfield to go and pressure them and win the ball back. And we normally see that crisp passing. We didn't. It's not often <clears throat> I'll sit and watch a City game and think they're never going to score. But that was today. OK, Gundogan hit the post in, in the first half. But I really never felt, apart from that, that, that they were going to score. And I always felt they were going to have to keep a clean sheet today, which they did, ultimately, uh, to get through. But I, I, I do, and, and how often... Are you going to come up against a Man City side, guys, that, that, that has Kevin De Bruyne having an off game? So there was a real big chance here for Simeone's men to go and give Man City a bloody nose. But once again, they, he leaves it till it's desperation o'clock, until he always brings on, you know, Cunha and, and Correa and Carrasco and, and Rodrigo De Paul. We've seen it so many times. He waits and he waits and he waits. And then he gets the crowd behind him right at the end. My God, are these people, they've had success, mm. but are they not paying their money to see this from the first whistle? And had they done that today, they, they could well have won this game. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.